Now, Jill Stein, I'm here with Rick Overton and the miserable liberal Steph Samarano and Hank Thompson. Now, Rick, I want to ask you something. <clears throat> Jill Stein, she was uh, she tried to get into the uh, in 2012. She tried to get into a debate. They arrested they her. They arrested her then. And they handcuffed her to a chair for eight hours. Right. Because uh, she she was she brought a bomb in and she oh no she brought um, ideas in. <laughs> yeah, right. She had ideas, <clears throat> and you know, in a democracy, we're only allowed to hear the ideas of the corporate-approved candidates. Right. So when someone comes in who isn't taking corporate money and is going to work against them, they have them arrested. Literally, right. that's what they did. Did the same thing that when Ralph Nader tried to get in uh, mm -hmm. before to the debates, he had mm -hmm. a ticket. Uh, same thing they did. La they did yesterday. They, she was at Hofstra University. Right. Jill Stein's on campus. Yeah. Uh, she does an interview with Fox News. Yeah. She does an interview, I think, with CNN. And or, then kids gather. And then kids start gathering around. They want to hear what she has to say. And the cops show up. Get the hell out of here, baby. There's a problem with the fact that kids are gathering. So what do you say to the to the people who are supporting Hillary Clinton and say that uh, you're crazy to let Trump be president? What do you do? You say what I say to those people is they fear Trump too much because he's he's uh, he is explicitly racist, whereas all the other Republicans are implicitly racist, right? The Southern strategy has been going on since Nixon, right? right, right. It's not like they're not. They Look no. at what they're doing with the Voting Rights Act all across the all the, uh, voting. Well, didn't you hear the military so will walk if he's president? So you go ahead. Tell the military is going to walk if he's president. So the military he never wanted the him. job. He's not. I just don't think he's going to get it. He's going to. The, but the even problem if is if he hands it to Kane. But the well, problem is handing it to Kane. You know, depends, you depends. I mean, uh, oh yes, look at me in my subconscious. Yeah, that was, is a problem. I'm dreading Kane. Yeah, and I said Kane instead of Pence. Right. Look what my brain did. So I'm what, also really afraid of him. So, do you think if Trump uh, becomes president, what do you, what do you think will happen? Uh, uh, it, it could easily trigger uh, the death of the Republican Party ever again. And uh, sort of a, a green revolution, or uh, the Democratic Party returning to a set of values that are recognizable and not ha. favorable to the one percent corporate again. It could be that, or in that process, we could—it's a gamble—and we could maybe lose everything. But I—I'm gambling on. I think he's going to dump it no matter what. Yeah, Trump. I think he's he doesn't want from, it. He so doesn't want it. He doesn't want the responsibility. He, he wants so to does. make it ready for his new show that comes out he, right he, after. He wants another show. He wants another show. He's building this his is team all already. entertainment. He's building his team. He is building an entertainment I'm, team. I'm out of that side of the world, so we get to smell this bullshit early. We know when someone's rigging something like that, and I think it's it, this is going to be his. It, for all that stuff in front of his face, he's not pulling that wool over our eyes. So you're saying he's it. never going to be elected? You I don't just even have can't to talk imagine about it? he wants the job. And he you know, does every. Who's done more than not get the job? Let's presuppose that he that you vote for Jill Stein, I vote for Jill Stein, everybody in this room votes for Jill Stein, and Trump becomes president. What do you think will happen? Well, the the military has threatened to walk. Now, when you say the military, there, there are generals are saying that they would not go upon his orders into any conflict. You know, uh, okay. they will walk. Okay. That doesn't mean other journals won't take their place. But right. You'll watch a, a, a sort of an exodus of people getting out of things. Look how many Republicans are walking away from right. him. Right. Which is... A lot a, of neocons are walking away from him. A lot of neocons are also walking away from him. That's why I think he'll get no support for anything anywhere, ever. I mean, and I think they're having a talk about it. They're yes. trying to figure out what to do with it. They have no idea what to do. I think they're all retreating around the next best neoconservative. And that's why everyone's supporting the Hillary camp right now. It sort of voids out the whole getting a lecture about, well, then, well, you're only helping the, the Republicans. No, that, that argument's lost now. So if Hillary becomes— I'm going to put out a swear jar. Every time someone says that, you got to put a fucking fiver in there, man. You tell me that I help the Republicans after that, after all the neocons that have right. come on to the other side now? No, fiver in the jar. Or don't fucking yeah, say another weird. word to it's me. Like every, how, you're, you're done to me. You're helping the Republican. Wait a minute. All the neocons <laughs> want Hillary to win. You yeah. know what I mean? That, all like that Ned argument's Ponte not going. and Kissinger and right. all those guys, those right. fifty guys. Bush, but Jeb Bush, <laughs> yeah. George yeah. Bush, yeah, Romney, yeah. Oh, that's weird, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. so that's what we mean about. Uh, well, that's what people mean when when they say yeah. uh, that. Like the editor of BuzzFeed, uh, Chris Hayes, went, if Trump is president, it will destroy the Republican yeah, Party. That's yeah, what they mean. Yeah. They've all, He's already split the party. Mm -hmm. And and right now what he's done— He was always is, supposed to be the wiggly tail while but, the lizard got away. Yes. But what he's, what he's done 
is he succeeded to the to the amount that the Democrats have failed to reach working class voters because working class people have been getting kicked in the nuts since Ronald Reagan and Bill Clinton put it on steroids. Yes. Right. So he sold out the working class. He sold out the unions. NAFTA was was an assault on them. He diminished his own base to get in bed with Wall Street and yeah. corporations. And it's been going like that ever since. And Barack Obama doing much of the same. Right. And so right now, workers haven't had a raise in the richest country the face of the earth has ever seen. Did you know that one in four kids in America lives in what they call poverty? Poverty, not poor. Poverty. In fact, half Half the country lives are considered poor. Half in America. Do you know that 50% of all wage earners in America earn less than $50,000? Do you know we're living in a bigger income disparity right now than they had during the Gilded Age? Mm -hmm. And what does income disparity mean? That means when you get sick, you go bankrupt. When your kid gets a thing, you go bank. That's income inequality. That's what it's talking about. And so that's where we are. Right. So that's where we are. People working harder and harder, having to go into debt just to maintain a middle class lifestyle. And people know it and they know the system is rigged, which is why half the country doesn't freaking vote. That's what Howard Dean said in 2003. And so what mm -hmm. you're offering is more neoliberalism, mm -hmm. which is more. We're going to hey, we're going to punch you with one arm, whereas Trump will punch you with two. But he might not even Trump is against TPP. Right now, there's a Democrat in the presidency pushing as hard as he can for the TPP right now. And you want me to vote for that party. The Democrat neoliberal party is dead. It's time to start over. And people want to scare you, but they've always done that. It's the same argument. Yeah, but the Supreme Court, but the Supreme Court, we went through eight years of George Bush with a conservative Supreme Court and we survived it. In fact, we elected Barack Obama next, who everyone thought was going to be FDR. Not everyone, just people like me and everyone else. Paul Krugman knew better, but everyone like me and so that's what I'm saying. We're ready. We've been ready for a revolution for a long time. People wouldn't, they wouldn't have voted. Bill Clinton, they voted against him in 2000. There was 300,000 Democrats who voted for, for George Bush in Florida. That's what lost Al Gore the election. He couldn't carry his own state. People rejected neoliberalism 15, 16 years ago. We're still rejecting it now. That's why Hillary can't get farther in the polls. She's up against this clown, and she can't get farther in the... It's amazing. Any A paper bag, a ham sandwich would be doing better than Hillary Clinton, but people can't... They're not going to get off their ass to go vote for her. People aren't excited. They know what she's offering. She's offering them more Wall Street, and that has been killing the working class. So that's what I'm saying, and I'm saying that lefties have to stop smearing people farther left than them like oh, they smeared yeah. bernie sanders immediately smeared. oh they can you can't attack his record bernie sanders and you can't attack his policies they can't attack his policies so what they do is they attack his character he's a misogynist he's sexist he's a misogynist he doesn't know how government works he's not going to get that stuff done he's a dreamer he's fairy dusty anything you can do to smear him and his character they did it and, and then they're doing it to supporters Jill, and they're doing it to everybody they're doing it to the, supporters they, and, and they're I doing it to say, me they're doing it to you well they're doing not, to Jill they're, Stein. they're learning their lesson on my page. Uh, it's so easy to just push a button, blink, you're gone. Yeah. But to make a point, <laughs> in a, uh, it's too. Don't make it that easy to be blinked away. I'll blink you away if I don't like you. Who cares who you told? Right. Uh, right. <laughs> but but beyond that, I have dear friends. I want their friendship to transcend this. And we just disagree on these things. And I pointed out to them, and they have come around, and that is that the definition of insanity is trying to do one thing over and over, expecting result. And a then you result. Have, but your pride has to allow you to look at the result is it backfired monumentally, biblically, 180 degrees, screeched and rammed you boomerang style with your own tactic, being mean to adults didn't work. It was almost as if the Trump campaign hired you to fuck this part up. You mean the Hillary it's, people. That's right. That The people defending and being mean and dismissive. And that's anybody defending anybody. Right. I don't care who your candidate is. I'll, I'll, I'll take it to the, there were some mean Bernie people that did harm to the Bernie campaign. That anyone right. being mean online, whoever trained you, they fucked you. Blame them. Your teacher ruined it for you. It is their fault and yours. Okay. Uh, I agree with you. I agree with Rick on that. They ruined it. It could have. And, and look, 
uh, at some point Hillary might still be on the table if everything and, because every five minutes it's a brand new universe. It's something changes, something monumental changes. And so I think uh, I'm sitting tight and I'm leaving. Uh, there's only one thing not on the table is voting for Trump. Yes, I'm not voting for Trump. I don't. I'm telling no one to vote for Trump. But no, I will. To, I will predict that if Hillary's president, uh, we will have a bad recession. Mm -hmm. That the House and Senate will go solid Republican for another decade, we'll and then war. all the state houses will gerrymander again, and we'll have a Republican Congress for another decade. And guess what? By that time, Florida will be underwater. So congratulations, Debbie Washerman Schultz. You fucked everything up, Royal.